In this video, I show you an RV cargo carrier upgrade project from start to finish. If you're considering this RV cargo carrier upgrade, be sure to watch the whole video. Behind me is my 2019 Cougar fifth wheel. Melody and I traveled the U.S. for approximately three years using the factory installed cargo carrier. I had mounted two utility boxes that were weatherproof on the cargo carrier and then the trailer spare tire in the center. And that worked for about three years. Recently, I developed a crack in that factory installed cargo carrier. After I discovered the crack, I removed the spare tire. We're back at home base. Today, we're starting the RV cargo carrier upgrade project. Let's get to it. So I have the old cargo carrier removed. It's over there. I took the, the uh, one set of brackets out that were bolted on with carriage bolts and taken it off of the upper uh, support here. This goes directly into the I-beam and is completely separate from this a little bit less sturdy uh, bumper support that's down below. But this is pretty heavy metal here. It goes right into the I-beam. I have the new two-inch receiver set up. My electric cable clears. I um, think this is going to work pretty good. I just need someone to weld on the underneath here. I have some photographs uh, to weld over here and then on the inside over here. And that should pretty much secure that two inch receiver to my fifth wheel. Be carrying, I had a tire on there before, a spare tire, along with some boxes. I'm no longer going to put the spare tire on there, that'll reduce the weight. Okay, folks, this is RV Cargo Carrier Upgrade Day. I have the truck all hooked up to the fifth wheel. I'm on my way to Quality Machine Incorporated. It's located in Bridgeport, West Virginia. They're going to do the welding of this um, two-inch receiver onto my RV frame. Let's get to it. An important note for this type of project, I'll have you know, they had me disconnect both my solar system and the lithium battery bank from the RV uh, to include flipping the battery disconnect to off. So the battery and solar system is completely disconnected during the electric welding process. Important note, folks. Okay, the two inch receiver cargo carrier is now welded to the RV the batteries are all reconnected and everything works fine. Let's get this puppy back home and finish this project. I just returned from the welding shop and before I prime and paint the welds, I want to show you uh, what they look like. I have all my components laid out. The two inch receiver is now welded to uh, my RV. I have the other components for this RV cargo carrier upgrade project sitting there in my garage. I'll show you all these components in detail toward the end of the video. But right now I want to show you these welds before I prime and paint them. Um, the first thing we did is uh, we established the center and marked the center of the RV. And uh, then we set the the two inch receiver up and extended the uh, receiver telescope out to it, butted up against the, uh, the frame. And then after we set everything in place, you put these bolts in. Now I'm going to take that bolt out. We no longer need the bolts. The bolts need to be uh, uh, lock it in place until after this is welded. So the first uh, thing that the gentleman did for me at the weld shop was they got rid of the ears from the old cargo carrier. You see they're no longer there. And then they welded both on the outside here and up underneath on the inside. You can see 
you can see a weld right up in here. Gentleman did a really good job welding. Same thing on the other side. Um, at the weld shop, they actually cut a piece of a panel and uh, slotted it down and, and was uh, so that it protected the RV from the electric welding. So as you can see here on the on the back side there, they welded there as well. And then after both sides were welded, locking the two inch receiver in place, then he went back and welded all around all four sides of uh, where the telescope is to lock the telescope in place. And now all I'm gonna do is take these bolts out. I could have took them out at the weld shop, but I didn't. Those bolts will come out and really nice job. I'm really pleased with uh, um, the, the workmanship at the weld shop. And that's the main thing. If you're going to do this kind of project, you want somebody that's going to do really good welds for you. I had the weld shop buff these welds for me. So right now I'm going to prime and paint these welds and I'll be right back. So it's the next day, the paint job is complete. It looks pretty darn good. The two inch receiver is centered on my RV. I'm now gonna put a six inch uh, riser on here to elevate uh, where I'm gonna plug in the cargo carrier. I have a steep driveway and sometime I cross washes. I do not want this cargo carrier to be the lowest point on the rear of the RV. To attach the riser to the RV, I'm going to be using a locking pin. It comes with a key. In this way, it adds added security so that somebody doesn't walk away with your RV cargo carrier. So now I have the six inch riser connected to the two inch receiver via the locking pin. Now I'm going to attach the cargo carrier. This cargo carrier has several different functions. First, I'm gonna show you the folding function, but that's not how I'm gonna use it. I'll show you the final configuration a little bit later. So I've assembled the cargo carrier and attached it to the six inch riser via another locking pin so there's two separate locking pins on here one to attach the riser to the two inch receiver another locking pin to attach the cargo carrier to the six inch riser uh, this particular cargo carrier will fold up so if you're that's not how i'm going to use it by the way i'm going to mount permanent boxes on there so um, i'll be able to in effect shorten this, bring it back. I'm going to take this piece off when I get done demonstrating the folding um, and uh, connect it directly into the, the riser here because I do not need this function where I flip it up. But I'm going to flip this up for you so you can see what it looks like. So that's a look at the cargo carrier in the raised position. So here's the cargo carrier before I mount the containers. You got the, the diamond metal mesh. I've got the container right there. I'm gonna put each container on one of these paver bases. Uh, you can get these at most large hardware stores. I've went down, I've got all the hardware that I'm gonna need for this project. I have my workspace set up in the driveway. The paver is set right underneath the uh, container on uh, some two by eights that I have, some scrap two by eights. And what I'm gonna do is I have a one quarter inch drill bit on my drill and that goes along with the bolt and the uh, quarter inch large washers that'll secure this to the, the mesh. And you can see where I've had those washers before, four of them, but I used a smaller bolt before. So on this one, 
Um, we're going to drill this out a little larger. I'm putting inch and a half quarter inch bolts in here. Okay, so my quarter inch pilot holes are drilled all the way through the paver. We're going to set this up. I'm going to clean the box out, set it up on the cargo carrier, and we're going to bolt this thing to the cargo carrier. Well, I got this first cargo carrier mounted. You know, uh, these were on my old cargo carrier. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, they're very well constructed, weather seal containers. Absolutely no moisture gets in here. I've got the box mounted to the cargo carrier, one and a quarter inch wide, uh, washers on there, quarter inch bolts. Uh, this is going to work good, folks. Last time I used wood as a base, I wanted to go lighter, and these are really light, but they're sturdy. Uh, I got a real good connection on here. I got the spring load from the uh, uh, the diamond mesh. Uh, that is a that is really secure. Well, folks, it's a couple of days later. I have both containers mounted to the cargo carrier. I ordered several different items to polish up this project. Let me show you the first one. Today I received two of these heavy duty hitch stabilizers. I'm going to place one where the riser connects with the two inch receiver and the other uh, stabilizer will be placed where the cargo carrier plugs into the two inch riser. The other item I ordered was Department of Transportation C2 tape. This is what it looks like. I've used this before. Uh, I'm going to finish this project up by putting some of this reflective tape on the cargo carrier. So I have the heavy duty anti-rattle stabilizers in place, finger tight. I wanted to back out here and show you why I ordered those. You see, because it's a two inch hitch, you get this, this little rock here. Uh, and these heavy duty stabilizers are gonna lock that in place. I'll show you the finished product here in a minute. I think I'm really gonna like the versatility that that two inch receiver gives me. You can pl plug a lot of different add-ons into that two inch receiver to carry cargo. Uh, you can put, put a bike rack in there. And I just didn't have that flexibility with the factory installed cargo carrier that came with the fifth wheel. So here's a look at the completed project, folks. And check this out. No movement. No more sway. And here's a rear view of the completed RV cargo carrier upgrade project. All of the major components used in this RV cargo carrier upgrade are located at our Amazon.com storefront, link in the written video description on YouTube. You can also access our Amazon storefront from a desktop computer right here, or just type in the web address into any web browser. Once you arrive at our Amazon storefront, click on the tab labeled RV cargo carrier upgrade. Here you'll find all the major components I used in this RV cargo carrier upgrade. With my Amazon Prime membership, shipping was free. Melody and I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you for purchases made from our Amazon storefront. Be sure to check out the RV gear, supplies, and accessories we recommend at our Amazon storefront. If you are considering this RV cargo carrier upgrade, here are some considerations. Number one. The 2-inch receiver shown in this video is only made as a cargo carrier plug-in. It is not designed to pull anything. Number 2. As with many RV do-it-yourself upgrades, this RV cargo carrier upgrade may void your RV warranty. Number 3. I am not an RV or travel expert. The things I show you on this channel work for me. Do your own research to determine what works best for you. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.